Hey everyone, welcome to the start of a new reading vlog. First of all, you might hear some background noise because my father is working in the garden. So yeah, please just try to ignore it because yeah, he is probably going to be busy with that for a while. But anyway, this is not a weekly reading vlog because I didn't film anything during the week. So it's going to be more of like a weekend reading vlog since it's now Saturday. And I'm low-key participating in two different readathons. First of all, there is a special edition of the 24 in 48 readathon like the social distancing edition you know there have been lots and lots of uh, spontaneous readathons since we're now all in you know quarantine and isolation and everything yeah i do really enjoy the 24 and 48 readathon usually this one is a bit different it's a bit more low-key uh, so yeah i want to participate in that and i'm already failing a bit because uh, i have listened to an hour of my audiobook this morning but i didn't you know time that which i usually do with the 24 and 48 readathon because if you don't know the 24 in 48 readathon is pretty much what the title says you try to read for 24 hours within 48 hours so you know you still have time to sleep and do some other things but you also dedicate an entire weekend to reading so i already have one hour done but i don't have it like officially on my stopwatch on my phone but yeah let's just add one hour to the final total at the end of this weekend and then tomorrow on sunday it's also the 24 hour reading party this is organized by my friends leonie over at the book leo and sabine at sabine Beans book nook. So two of my Dutch booktube friends, they are organizing this 24 hour readathon with probably some live shows, I believe. So yeah, I'm sort of combining these two as just a weekend with hopefully some, you know, some more reading than usual. It's going to be a very relaxed and cozy vlog because of course I'm not really going anywhere, which isn't really possible at the moment. So yeah, I'm just going to try, uh, yeah, to do some reading and have some fun with it. Let me tell you what I'm currently reading and sort of like my goal is to finish all the books that I'm currently in the middle of because i'm reading four books which i usually don't do uh, so it's gotten a bit out of control so i want to finish some of these the first one is the winter of the witch by Catherine arden i started this one two weeks ago but then chain of gold came out and i had another readathon so it sort of got pushed back again but i've already read quite a bit of it i'm at page 263 so i really do want to finish it because i do want to finish this series and it's absolutely beautiful and beautifully written i think it's really time i picked this one up again and finally finish this book and this book series then i have catching fire by suzanne collins which i started at the beginning of this week this is part of the hunger games read along in which uh you know we read all the hunger games book in preparation of the release of the hunger games prequel but this one i had page um like around page 100 of course this one is a reread and i was really feeling like a reread of an old favorite so that is why i picked this one up i also really want to finish this but because this is a reread like of a book that i've read countless times before i can probably finish it quite quickly if i put my mind to it so i have that one then i also like another reread is of uh, the nightingale by kristen henna this is actually the audiobook i'm currently listening to i really felt again like a reread like i find it so comfortable to sort of delve back into old favorite books uh, like this one and catching fire and yeah i'm also with this one at page uh, 57 so yeah this is like the hour of audiobook that i listened to this morning i've listened to the audiobook before i've read the physical book before this is going to be my third time reading this book but it's one of my absolute favorites so of course i had to uh, yeah i just want to reread this one every year or at least every couple of months or so i don't know i just really love this book and it is really nice to listen to something that i've enjoyed so much and that i just i really love this book it's one of my all-time favorites and then lastly uh i have uprooted by naomi novik i was actually listening to this audiobook before but i wasn't really feeling it anymore like an audiobook of a fantasy story so i put it down with the audiobook but i do want to continue with it maybe physically i'm not sure i feel like this one is the lowest on my tbr priority for this weekend because yeah it's just um what i've listened to so far was enjoyable uh, and definitely a very interesting story and like i've listened to quite a bit of it i'm at page oh let me think uh 96 so yeah i've made a dent in this one as well but i think i want to finish it with the physical copy this one by the way is a beauty and the beast fantasy retelling with sort of like a russian inspired country uh yeah it is very interesting and i do love books like this so i felt like this book deserved better than just like half my attention whilst listening to the audiobook but i really want to finish the other two books physically first so let's just see 
how much I'm going to read this weekend because also, let's be honest, I've fallen into the hole that is called Animal Crossing. I have a Nintendo Switch and yeah, I got Animal Crossing because that one was released yesterday and I had never played Animal Crossing before so I was a bit... Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't really, I wasn't sure what to expect because I don't really know the game. But I started it yesterday and now I'm completely addicted. It's just, yeah, it's not even funny. Like, I don't know how this game is so addictive because so far I haven't really done that much yet. I've just gone to my island. I've gotten rid of all the, you know, weeds that were growing. I've done some fishing and some butterfly catching. That's basically it. But it is so addictive and so calming. I don't know. I just... I want to play it 24 hours a day. It's just, ugh. I don't really know how I'm going to manage with like, you know, a life. And also, I don't know how much I'm going to read this weekend because I do want to play some more Animal Crossing, definitely. So that's a very fun game. And yeah, let's just make this an enjoyable weekend. I do want to do some reading because, you know, otherwise it's just going to be an entire weekend of Animal Crossing, which is also nice, you know. I don't know. It's just, um, let's just see. How I'm going to do with this uh, weekend reading vlog and these readathons and yeah fingers crossed that I can manage to finish at least one of these books. Let's just try to do that. It is Sunday and you can probably take a wild guess at how much reading I got done yesterday. It was 10 pages. I read like 10 pages of The Winter of the Witch, that's all. Uh, I did listen to more of my audiobook by the way, more of the audiobook of The Nightingale, but apart from that, yesterday I've just played a lot of Animal Crossing. I am addicted to this game already. I don't know how it happened, but it is so much fun and yeah, I've just spent a lot of time playing it. Also with a friend, uh, I played Mario Kart, so like online Mario Kart uh, against each other. That was also fun. So, you know, we can still sort of socialize and hang out, but through the internet and play games together. And also with Animal Crossing, of course, you can go to other islands and everything. So um, yeah, I did have a fun day, but not with much reading. I guess you can just ignore the entire 24 and 48 readathon aspect of this vlog because that is not happening. Uh, but for now, it is today the 24-hour readathon party. So organized by Leonie and Sabine. And today I'm going to make an effort to at least read something. I mean, if only it's a big part of my audiobook whilst playing Animal Crossing. Because I'm still going to play a lot of Animal Crossing today. Probably also another uh, game of Mario Kart. It's just one of those weekends, I guess. Um, I do really love playing on the Nintendo Switch. I haven't done it in a while, but now with Animal Crossing, I'm completely addicted again. And I do still want to continue with The Winter of the Witch. I want to uh, hopefully, I don't know, finish it. I don't know. I really don't know at this point, but it's just going to be a fun, comfy reading vlog. Let's see how much reading it is actually going to contain. Um, but yeah, at first I have to check on my island on Animal Crossing because I haven't played today yet. So I have to see like how my house looks and everything. It just has to happen, you know? That's not really a choice. I have to maintain my island. I have to take care of all the trees and the flowers and everything. I don't really have a choice in that matter. <laughs> but I am going to try to read some more and also uh, check in in the live shows. There are going to be two live shows today with Leonie and Sabine, so... Let's just give it a try and yeah, I've just... I'm not going to take this readathon too seriously because I just know it's not really going to happen. Um, but yeah, I hope you still sort of like this vlog. Uh, so far it has only been playing Animal Farm and not really all that much reading But now I'm going to sit down and read some of The Winter of the Witch I'm going to put my timer and read for half an hour So yeah, put my Nintendo Switch away and my phone and just read for at least half an hour Like I don't have to read the entire day It's not like I have to read but I know that if I sort of lose my reading mood It is very hard to get back into it if that makes sense It's sort of weird And I do really want to continue reading because I am excited about all the book so yeah i'm going to try to not get a hundred percent addicted to animal crossing but just like 95 percent or something <laughs> i'm going to read now for a bit i have been successful because i read 40 pages of the winter of the witch and this is one amazing book that is just 
like I've talked about my love for this book series and the sort of like it's called the Winter Night Trilogy series. I've talked about my love for it before. It is amazing. I love it so much and this final book definitely delivers. So it is good that I sort of forced myself back into it because now I sort of have remembered why I love it so much and now I really want to finish it today. But then also I have to be honest I did uh, do some more Animal Crossing after that but I did that whilst listening to my audiobook. So maybe I can combine Animal Crossing with reading you know and sort of be uh, yeah be reading and playing Animal Crossing at the same time. But yeah I do still want to finish this one. I think that shouldn't be too difficult for today because I'm now really back into the story and I do want to know how it's going to continue and how it's going to end and everything and it looks so promising like for a good ending of a series and oh i'm just so excited for it uh, and yeah i'm going to continue reading this one now i think and then also listening to some more of my audiobook of the nightingale which of course is also amazing but yeah what else is new i do really love the nightingale because it's one of my all-time favorite books which i say I feel like I say that in every video but yeah it is true it is amazing and it is very relaxing to listen to that and to play Animal Crossing it's just so relaxing somehow you feel so calm and yeah it's just really really nice to sort of yeah do that and yeah that's why I love this game so much I guess and I know that I'm not alone because from what I've seen on Twitter so many people have been playing Animal Crossing and have been addicted to it so if you have a Nintendo Switch and you're not sure if you uh, should buy Animal Crossing I can definitely recommend it because I didn't know anything about it either until like three days ago uh, so yeah just trust me it's just you play it is very self-explanatory and you're addicted immediately so yeah maybe okay <laughs> if you don't want to get addicted to a Nintendo Switch game then maybe you shouldn't buy it but yeah it is a lot of fun that is enough talking about animal crossing i guess um yeah i should be continuing with the winter of the witch i think i'm going to do that now to read some more of it and then uh yeah i'm not sure maybe read something of catching fire as well yeah i don't know that's just of course that is also a reread so that should also be you know a bit more familiar and a bit more easy to get through and yeah those are my reading plans for right now and for this like 24 hour reading party not my best 24 hour read it on but you know i do have fun and it is quite a relaxing day so yeah i guess that is uh successful at any rate it is later in the evening and i've actually read some more of the winter and the witch so yeah, I'm finally getting the hang of it again, of getting a bit back into the reading mood. I've barely read anything the entire week, so yeah, I'm finally sort of, you know, it's hard to explain, but like, I'm finally enjoying this book again, even though it's not like there was a time I didn't enjoy it, it's just that I sort of fell out of it somehow, but now I'm back again and I'm almost done with it. I'm going to read the final part tonight so I can give you like a proper review of it tomorrow and sort of like my final thoughts, but I can already tell that it's going to be very positive. Probably a five star read. It's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful book. It is beautifully written. This entire series is just beautiful and adventurous and magical and everything that I wanted it to be. So very happy that once I finish this that I finally finished another series. I really want to finish more series this year so yeah I'm making progress with that as well. And of course I also still played some Animal Crossing. Um, yeah that's just going to be the case for uh, I guess the entire week just like reading and also playing Animal Crossing in between. And yeah, it's just a very fun game in case you haven't noticed yet. And of course, still my audiobook of the Nightingale. I'm now at page uh, 107, so I'm making progress with that one as well. But I'm not in a hurry or anything to finish this one. I just want to listen to it slowly and yeah, just enjoy my time with the story again. I do really love to reread books. I know not everybody loves rereading books, but I just really, especially with audiobooks, I love it so much to experience a story again because I love them so much. And with an audiobook, it's just so relaxing to listen to a familiar story and, you know, one of my favorite stories again. So I tend to do that a lot these days. Uh, yeah, I just really love rereading books. I don't know if everybody does, but for me, it's just one of my favorite things to do. I'm working my way slowly through this one. And it's also like one of the perfect books to read whilst playing Animal Crossing. Because, um, yeah, I don't know. The audiobook is very soothing and calming, even though the entire story is very serious and there's a lot going on. So yeah, The Nightingale, uh, in case I haven't made it clear yet, amazing book. Everybody should read this one. So that has been it for, yeah, I guess my reading this weekend 
um, yeah, I haven't done that much reading, but at least something. And yeah, what I've read, I've definitely enjoyed. So that is something that is always nice. And I think I'm now going to take a shower, get into my pajamas and read the final bit of The Winter of the Witch. And I will give you a final update on that one tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, probably this reading vlog is going to be a bit shorter, a bit more, I don't know, weirder. But yeah, we're just going to have to deal with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a weird time. It is Monday and I've done it. I finished The Winter of the Witch and the Winter Night Trilogy and it was definitely a very, very good end to this beautiful series. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars because it was just, yeah, so magical and amazing and I love the characters and the sort of, yeah, these all these story elements. It's just one of my new favorite series. I can't really say anything else about it. It's just amazing. <laughs> Definitely a book series I would recommend, even though it's more suitable for winter than for spring, but also like you should just read whatever you want in whatever season you want. Uh, it is very beautiful. I'm very happy with this entire series and that I've experienced it. It's just, oh. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say about it. When I really love a book, I just don't have much to say about it because it's just amazing. And yeah, that was it for my physical book that I finished. But I've also read some more of The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I'm now at page, let me see, 163. So again, going along with this audiobook slowly, but really enjoying it. And again, I don't have much to say about this one either because I've talked about The Nightingale so many times. I actually did a recent video about 10 books I think you should read which of course include the nightingale so if you want to watch that you can see my favorite books and books i think you should definitely read uh yeah i will leave a link to that down below in the description box uh, it was one of my favorite videos to film because i just love talking about my favorite books so much and i love yeah all the characters in the nightingale and the story it's just oh I can never get enough of it. So yeah, I think that is uh, pretty much it for reading. Of course, I also did some more Animal Crossing last night. I'm so addicted. It's not even funny anymore. Last night, Rachel from Rachel Marie's Book Journey came to my island and she helped me catch a mole cricket. So that was nice. That's also what I love, that you can visit each other's islands and, you know, hang out in these islands together. It's just... Um, yeah, my island is called Sapphire, which is like, mm, I'm not really pleased with that name anymore. I just wasn't really sure what to name my island. In hindsight, I would have preferred to call it Sapphire Isle, maybe, you know, from... Is it Game of Thrones? Like the Sapphire Isle with Brienne of Tart? I don't know. Also, my island is kind of a mess right now because I'm more about collecting at the moment than really making everything look beautiful so yeah i'm going to work on that tonight i think maybe make it look a bit more pretty and rearrange the trees and plant some flowers so yeah uh, still have a lot to do i do have the museum right now and the uh, bigger shop so i have that going uh, if you don't play animal crossing then this probably means nothing to you but yeah, I just really love it. And I think a lot of people do at the moment. It's just everywhere. Sorry for the Animal Crossing spam. It's just kind of how it is right now. Um, but yeah, I think that was pretty much it for this reading vlog. I mean, there was some reading. There was definitely some reading. Also a lot of Animal Crossing. But I did finish a book. Read some of another book. So overall, it wasn't all that bad. And yeah, it's just, it has been like a shorter, more cozier a weekend reading vlog instead of a weekly reading vlog. I hope you still liked it and that you still enjoyed it. And if you did, maybe go subscribe or maybe give it a thumbs up if you want to, of course. But as always, I would really appreciate that. And then hopefully I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye!